it has turned the corner and hit home as this 29-2020 season is just about concluded as we are into the final days of this season and have the end of the season tournament here at WKCTC. Hello everybody, I'm Anthony Ridgeway along with my sidekick and longtime friend and partner Richard Abraham welcoming you to Hall's Gymnasium on the campus of Western Kentucky Community and Technical College as we're just about set for basketball action in this tournament here today. It's Earl C. Clements Eagles versus the WKCTC Stars this morning and Abe, we're just about ready for basketball. Oh, we are big guy and I had a chance to talk to some of the guys for, West, for our guys, uh, West Kentucky Stars and, and just we, what we felt what what about our guys is that when we attack the basket and when we're aggressive at the rim, we force those guys to react and possibly pick up foul trouble later on. So my advice to the guys today was like, guys, attack the basket. They're long. Uh, this uh, Tigers team is long and athletic. Yes. But uh, but if you attack the grim, that, that gets us an opportunity to go to the line. The last time we played them, we won the game, and we have the starting lineups for you first for – the Earl C. Clemens Eagles. Xavion Shelton is at one guard. He'll wear number one. He's 6'1 from Memphis, Tennessee. And then we have Tim Rush. He'll wear number 22. He's at the other guard. They'll run a three guard offense. He's 6'3 from Mobile, Alabama. Then Charles Simpson. He'll wear number 24. He's 6'2 from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And Jaquan Gary. He'll wear number 30. He's 6'4 from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And the big man in the middle, Kyrie Bradford, who put on a show the last time they played. Yes, he did. He'll wear number 33. He's 6'6. He is from Tupelo, Mississippi. They are coached by Bernard Grimes, who is a wonderful human being. Yes, he is. They are 7-2 overall, 7-0 in their conference. Now for the WKCTC Stars, they will line up this way. One guard is Jaquan Jones, 5'10. He's Cape Girardi. The other guard, Dre Smith, he's 6'2". He'll wear number one. He's from Fulton, Kentucky. At one forward, it's Avery Strayhorn, 6'6", six, six and a forward from Paducah, Kentucky. He'll wear number zero. Aaron Reed, at one forward, 6'6". Six, six, he'll wear number 35. He's from Benton, Kentucky. And the big man in the middle, Anthony Darge from Thompsonville, Illinois. He'll wear number 21. He is 6'7". The stars are coached by Mike Chumler. We have an 8 and 14 overall record. And nice. as play gets underway, the Stars get the tip. Avery Strayhorn gets the first basket for the Stars in the paint. Just underway, 2-0 our score. And we have a steal by Dre Smith. He has Reed trailing. Nice. Basket up, good on the layup. Nice unselfish play right there by Dre seeing this guy in the paint. They had a two-on-one break, and he gave it up for Reed, and he laid it in. Almost came up with another steal. So these guys that look like they're tuned in today, partner. Are certainly locked down as we begin the game. Brad, big man out top, being guarded by Darge. And Dre Smith comes up with another steal, goes up, dunk, hits it. <laughs> It's about time he got one of those. Right? <laughs> He's missed a few. He's talked trash all year long. And another steal by the Stars. Uh, and Dre Smith going to be called for steps. And that will be a turnover. Jaquan Jones came up with the steal. First turnover for the Stars. The Stars come out in that pressure, and Kyrie Bradford tries to go. Yeah, he tried to go to the hoop. Our guys have got crazy hands today, man. That's about the fifth uh, deflected pass uh, that we've uh, got our hands on. And so far with three steals. There's another one. Long Almost. pass. And another steal, and here comes Dre Smith with another. <laughs> wow. Himself already. He's going to call a timeout. <coughs> Please excuse our coughs as we are back in the morning. Oh, man. 
been sick as a dog all along. I've been battling it, man. I've been battling it. Ah. I got up early this morning hoping that I could get myself together, wondering if I was going to have enough voice to do the game. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I think you got enough. You got a couple of mason jars in your backpack, man. That, I, that, <laughs> that voice juice, you good. <laughs> you good. You good. I probably need some voice juice That's this it. morning. That's all right. <laughs> Because we're going to be here a minute today. Oh, we're going to be here a while. Yeah. There are five games slated for today. No, no we're not going to do all five of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're only going to do two. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Look, Coach is getting on them, man. He They're is. They're not playing very good at all. They're not playing up to his well, expectations they're not they're not, at all. They're, and they're not playing up to their potential. No, so no. That's what's really frustrating. Yes, it is very frustrating for him. So we need to get up further out. We need to make sure we pad this lead before they start playing up to their potential. How about that? Going to have a foul called against to go against Dre Smith. That'll be his first team first. Oh, dude. <laughs> I think big. I think big fella uh, Bradford. That was a little frustration right there. And as you see the pass go inside, he went up high for the dunk, but he couldn't get it to go. You know, another thing is, man, part of dunking is, you know, he's a big guy. He doesn't have very large hands, though. No. Uh, my hands are extremely large, and I, I guess you my grandfather. <laughs> but man, I could palm a basketball in the fifth, in the sixth grade. Oh yeah, where do we know? So once my once that vertical got up, I could dunk pretty easy. Well, Abe, you were only six three, two thirty five when we played football together. Yeah, yeah, I was a, I, I was a beast, and a two time All American. Watch out now, talk slow. Junior and senior year, oh. I think everybody knows that. Went to University of Kentucky on a scholarship. Oh, nice. Sweet nice. move by Avery Strayhorn, and he gets the basket to go. That's oh, his that, second basket of the afternoon with four points. Man, we're going to nickname him Silky Smooth today because look at that nice. Another deflection, oh, and, and it goes out of bounds. Wow. Off of Tim Rush. That'll be another turnover. As Jaquan Jones came up with the steal. You hear Coach Grimes in the background telling his team, you're playing too fast. You have to get on them. He's trying to slow down this WKCTC offense. Deep three, no good. And no Rebound, bad. Reed puts it back in for the Stars. Yeah, I, I, I know exactly this coach is not happy with that because as tall as these guys are, nobody hit the, hit the board right there. The Eagles on the move. Xavion Shelton gets it to go for Not his first, first two of the yeah, game. First. And it looks like we're going to have a foul call. I was looking at that defense for the Eagles, and it's – they try to play a, a zone, but disguise it in a man-to-man. -man. Yeah, yeah. Devontae Thomas picks up. Rather, Anthony Darge picks up the first foul. His first foul. Third foul for the Stars. Another steal. Another steal and a rebound. And Jaquan Jones comes out of there with it. To Reed, to Strayhorn, to Darge on the inside, and he gets it to go. Wow, these guys are, <laughs> this is the best they've looked in a long time starting out. Strayhorn with the assist. Here come the Stars on the move. <coughs> Dre Smith traveled again, got away with it. Shoots a three ball, but it turns out to be an air ball. And Xavion Shelton comes up with it. Smith with a steal and his third dunk of the afternoon. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do with that boy? Keep playing him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take him out, coach. That's his third steal of the afternoon. And just like that, 
Zakari Byron comes off the bench for the Eagles. Deep three, no good. Darge for the rebound. Gives no way to read. Here comes Strayhorn on the move. Breaks to the inside. Euro step. No good, but he's going to be fouled by Tim Rush. What do you think about that Euro step action? I love it, man. I love it. It's just smooth. I love it. I love it. It's Dre Smith right into your living room with a rim rattling dunk. The foul is against Rush. That's his first team first. Strayhorn at the free throw line. First one's good. Coach want to keep this type of energy going. He's telling them, don't let it up. Keep pushing it. You have to in a game of this magnitude. Strayhorn with two free throws. See that? These guys, they... Oh, he... Clemens. Looking inside, shot up, no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Bradford, no good. He gets it to go on his second attempt, and he gets his first points. Well, actually, it's his third point. He was one for two from the free throw line. 18 to five is our score. It has been all stars since the beginning of the game. Strayhorn on the inside, misses the shot. Bradford comes up with the rebound. Clemens on the attack, and Jordan Bendris gets the basket to go. The lack of defense on that one. Turnover. Yeah, I don't know where Drake's mind was. That one hit him upside the head. Zakai Bryan misses. Put back no good. Darge comes up with the rebound. Here comes Dre Smith to the basket again, and it doesn't go, but he's fouled. He has really been aggressive thus far in this game. Yeah, that's what we talked about. Go to the hole, man. Coming towards the paint. He's going to be fouled as he goes to the basket. Brian. Foul is going to be against Brian. That's his first team second. That'll send Dre Smith to the free throw line. First one's up, and it's good. I think Dre came to play today. I think he did. He's got three. He's got three. Rim, rim rattlers. He has seven points in the game at the free throw line for a second attempt. <coughs> free throw is up. It's good. Smith now with eight points in the ball game. Inside, and I thought there was going to be a travel call against... Brian, but it looks like we might have a foul call. I think it's on, uh, I think it's on Darge. Reed. Foul is on Aaron Reed. That's his first, team fourth. Brian at the line. 20 to 7. That's the type of start coach. Uh, Sean likes to the challenge here is, is to keep that intensity up. Byron's second free throw is good also. He has two points in the game. Two for two from the free throw line. Just under 14 minutes in the first half. Trey Smith, over. deep he's three. On, he's on fire today. Yeah, he needs a game like this. And this is it for them this, today. Look at that. Tip ball. Dre Another steal. And he, Trey Smith with the good layup. Job, good job. He might go for 40. <laughs> he might go for 40. Credit Aaron Reed with the steal. He won't. And we have a travel call. That's going to be a turnover call against the cloud. Eagles. Dorian Cloud with the turnover. As you see Dre Smith come up with the steal. Straight to the basket with the layup. Smith looking inside the Strayhorn. And Strayhorn stepped out of bounds. That's going to be a turnover. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm sitting here. I'm looking right at it, man. That hill came down on the black stripe. 
Interestingly enough, that's only the second turnover for the Stars. As Dre Smith comes up with a with a steal and a lay in. Okay, somebody, somebody go check that boy. He, <laughs> I don't know what he had for breakfast this morning, but he's playing out of his mind. It was man. certainly more than bacon and eggs, it wow, looks like. I thought he threw some grits <laughs> off in there, man. Goodness <laughs> gracious. He picks that ball out, out of midair and takes it and gets to the three-point play. Dorian Cloud picks up the foul. That's his first team third as Dre Smith completes the three-point play. He is now three for three from the free throw line. Inside as Tupelo trying to get him one, man. That's, <laughs> he's over two. He's over two. He's trying to chunk it down, man. I tell you what, remember last time we had it. No, we, we won the game when we played those. But he went before. off. We didn't have anybody close to slow no, that truck down, no. man. The foul is against Anthony Darge. That's his second team fifth. And that sends Bradford to the free throw line. He misses the first one. And Darge goes to the bench as Lee comes into the game. Hayden Lee, 6'4 forward from Metropolis, Illinois. And Strayhorn comes out of the game as Everybody. Trey Wilson checks in. Everybody's played well today. So far, so yes. So far, yeah. Bradford's second free throw is good. He is now two for three from the free throw line. He has four points. Let's see what this next group. There it is. Uh. Smith driving to the hole, cut off, and turns it over as Bendros comes up with the steal. Aaron Reed steals it back the other way after the deflection by Trey Wilson. Here comes Wilson. Inside, and it's a... Going to be a turnover. Oh, my gosh. That set up so pretty. It was set up wonderfully. You had two guys from Clemens on the, on the floor, man, and he couldn't get his feet together. Right there, <laughs> as you see the travel. Hayden Lee just couldn't maintain his feet. That'll be a turnover. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's sweet. Eagles I, you asked me on about the that, inside. That move, that neural step. It was. Bendros with two. That's his first two of the game. I'm sorry, that's his second basket of the game. Four points. 28 to 11 is our score. Stars on top. It has been all stars since the tip off. Dre Smith again. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, it's official. I'm checking him at halftime, man. <laughs> I got to know. That's his second three-pointer of the game. But he's been all over. Defensively, he's been shut down. He's got at least three, three steals. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound. Trey Wilson ahead. Trey Smith, and he gets the layup. <laughs> Eagles. Wow, that's a nice little what shot. What a shot by Jordan Bendros. He has six points. Trey Smith gives way to Wilson. Lee, oh, deep there. three, no uh, good. You want to knock those down. That was, a, that was a great shot. And I said Lee, that was actually Van Hook. Shot up, no good. Starts, rather, the Eagles get the rebound. Bradford. Gets the rebound off the putback. Nice kicks shot. it out. Nice looking shot. Rush. To Tim Rush, and he gets his first points of the game. <laughs> Stars have doubled him up here in the first half. 33-15. Reed gets it off the back of his neck. Shot up no good. Rebound comes out of there by Brian. You got to have some nice touch. That little short jumper right there. 10 to 12 footer. Mid-range game. You made that shot a million times. Oh, man, I loved it, loved it. Look at this. Oh, nice block. Good block in the in on the inside. Oh. Van Hook yeah. stepped up defensively. Shot up by the Stars, no good. And here come the Eagles. On the inside is Xavion Shelton, and he's going to be called for the charge. i tell you what, man. Uh, <laughs> As you uh, see Clemens, Shelton. yeah, they're, they're not getting, nothing is going their way right now. 
The foul is called against Dre Smith. That's his second. Well, they have him as one. I have him for two. It was a charge, as you hear the official. The foul is against Xavion Shelton. I apologize. I am not infallible. Shot up by Smith. No good. Rebound, Tim Rush. And you know, it's good to have that personal <laughs> with the referee. relationship with the referee. Yeah, yes. you, you're part of that fraternity, though. Yes. So, you know. Travel called against Jordan Benders. That'll be another turnover for the Eagles. Yeah, you guys got that whole Rolodex thing going. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got everybody's cell number. <laughs> That's how that works. Are you inferring that my refereeing prowess? Prowess, yeah, <laughs> I am. Known all over the country. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe for things that aren't very popular. Oh, nice. Sweet move on the inside by Trey Wilson as he gets his first basket. And that will bring Jaquan Gary off the bench for the Eagles. Here come the Eagles to the basket. No good. Rebound pulled out of there for the Stars by Hayden Lee. Ahead to Dre Smith. Looking to penetrate. And he goes That's in the paint, but he has it knocked away by Tim Rush, uh, and that's going to be a turnover as he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. I remember my daughter when she was uh, two years old. She kept walking and, and tripping. I got her some shoes on them. Now your feet can see. She keeps tripping. <laughs> Why do I even bother? <laughs> ah, that's what he needs. Yeah, took care of that. <laughs> Lamont Bell checks into the ball game for the Stars. Bell, 6'1". Hit one of a 22. He's from Carruthersville, Missouri. Shot up by the Stars. No good. Rebound by Tim Rush. He's starting to come alive now. Look at that D. As we have almost a steal by Dre Smith. Almost. Knocked away. And Jaquan Gary comes up with it, and he gets the basket. I'm thinking Coach is feeling the same thing that we're feeling about Dre. Everybody's different on the floor. Look at this. What, what is that? Was Inside, that the red, just was that the red C? <laughs> It that parted. Thing, that thing parted right down the middle. And Van Hook got the layup. And the steal. And he gives way inside. Oh. And the basket goes. Woo. Hayden Lee gets the basket as Van Hook comes up with the steal. And the coach, the coach over here looking at his boys like, what, what am Excuse I looking me. at here? He's looking at his guys like, what am I looking at? It's almost like they haven't seen a basketball. And that's the look on Coach Grimes' face. Yeah. The foul is against Gary. That's his first team fifth. At the free throw line, no good by Lee. Gary comes up with the rebound. Eagles on the attack. Has it knocked away, but Tim Rush comes up with it, and he gets the put back, and he has four points. Again, he's starting to heat it up. He has a... A couple of rebounds, a couple of deflections, and now two baskets in a row. I think his mindset is, if no one's going to do it, I'm going to have to step up and do it myself. Dre Smith to the basket, and well, he, he is up. fouled. And knocked down and fouled for sportsmanship yeah. for Tim Rush, who helps him off the floor. He gets up so fast, man. Look at, Watch how high he gets up. His vertical has to be at least 30 inches. And on the two dunks, what a three dunks that he has, yeah. uh, his forearm was pretty much down the rim. Yeah, when you jump like that, you don't have to worry about big hands. No. You can just, <laughs> <laughs> just you do just your thing. Chunk it. You just chunk that thing down. Foul is against Tim Rush. That's his second. Team six. Yeah. Well, Smith's first three, three throw is good. The second one is up. It's good also. Yeah, those of you who don't know, chunk is a synonym for throw down, chunk it down. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting into synonyms, homonyms, synonyms. Go on. <laughs> and probably a lot of our audience. <laughs> so you just edged some people. Well, always, man. You can always learn. Oh, look at this. And it's still, here comes Bell, and he stepped out of bounds. Ah, the he knew it, too. He had that sheepish grin on his face. Yeah, he went behind <laughs> his back. And you know what, man? In a game like this, the guys are like, man, they seeing Dre out here playing. 
and balling out, and coach, get me in here. Let you got to step up me your get, game. Yeah. Let me get in this. Give me some of this. What was that song by Dan Fogarty, center field? Put me in, coach. I'm ready to I'm play. Ready, I'm ready to play. <laughs> Turnover for Bell. That's his first. Nice put back. Basket by Rush. Rush gets the put back. That's his third basket. He now has six points. Jaquan Jones lays it up at the rim. And you know the thing that no, the thing that uh, they're not doing, Clemens the Eagles, is in that first game they focus on going inside to the big guy. Mm -hmm. They haven't done that at all. Well, that's, I think it's because of the way that defense is, is collapsing down in the paint, and it looks like they've watched film from the last game that they played. They're not going to let uh, uh, Bradford get off in the paint. We have a whistle, uh, and it's going to be a carry, which is really known as a double dribble. A double dribble. Anytime there's a pause in that dribble to where the officials can see the lines in the ball and you start again, yeah, it's popular to call it a carry, but it's actually a double dribble. And that's another turnover. Yeah, you guys just listen. Y'all listen in to us because we're going to educate you today, <laughs> baby. We got homonyms and synonyms and double dribbles. Antonyms. And and uh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make. We're gonna get you straight. Look, Smith look at this inside. Boy. Are you kidding me? Perhaps that comes from two college-educated guys. You uh, think? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I remember some of that. Look at that. <laughs> and speaking of college, I didn't want to go. My parents forced me to go. Yeah. Well, I wanted to go. <laughs> Outside of introducing me to Jesus Christ, best thing they ever did for me. Oh, yeah. Well, I went there to meet my wife. I, I believe that. <laughs> we met in 81, been married 36 years. Congratulations. Yeah. 36 or 37, I forget. You better remember she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can tell you the first date. I always defer to her. Baby, how long we been married? See, now you looking to have your <laughs> cornbread burned and your meatloaf hard. Oh, and no, you don't go. No, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, don't burn any cornbread now. <laughs> It's like a girl said in uh, the hell. Many don't burn chicken. <laughs> Rich don't eat no burnt cornbread, boy. Come on now. Fried chicken and turnip greens. Come on. Macaroni and cheese. Oh, turn it up. Bam. Bell no good with his shot. Rebound pulled out of there by Look Gary. Nice. Look at that. Goes to the rim, has it stripped away Trent by Alex Wilson. Van Hook. Wilson got a hand on it first, and then Van Hook got it. Came up with the steal. And we'll trade it, uh, credit Trey Wilson with the deflection. As I found out over the years, these guys love to hear their names called. Oh, yeah. Knock it down, boy. Deep three, no good. Rebound, knocked away. But the Eagles come up with it. Bradford. Oh, he walked. And he gives way That's to good defense. Davion Tracy, but he traveled. Because uh, Trey Wilson was right on him. He turns around, he never lets go. Great defense. 5.46 left to go in the first half. 45-21 stars on top of the Eagles here at home at Haas Gymnasium. I'm Anthony Ridgeway alongside Richard Abraham. Look at that. We thank you for letting us be a part of your morning as Dre Smith goes to the basket. And they stepped on the paint. And instead, they stepped on the paint with a turnover. Yeah, it was uh, the uh, Eagles. Eagles, they can't, they can't get out of their own way this That's morning. true. Devontae Thomas checks into the game for the Eagles. 6-2 forward from South Bend, Indiana. As Jaquan Gary goes to the bench. Gary leads the game with two points. Jaquan Jones set the inbound of the ball for the Stars. Bell gives way to Jones. And they're going to reset the offense. A lot of standing around on the defensive end for yeah, Coach Kelly yelling out the defense. Defense, he, he yelled 2-3. Two, three. He might as well go to his own because the man-to-man nice. man isn't working. Yeah, yeah, Lamont man. Bell gets his first points of the game, and it is a three. He's asking, he's telling these guys getting a 2-3. They're looking at him like, what? what like what? they didn't know what it was. That's not a good sign. No, it's not. He's, look, he's rubbing his head. He's going to be bald as I am. For, <laughs> bald as I am. For, I mean... <laughs> Bell at three, drains it. We're going to have a foul called against the Stars. It'll go against Dre Smith. That's his second foul, team eighth. 
Eagles looking to penetrate inside. Shot up. Goes. Yeah, maybe that'll get him going, but uh, I don't know how many points Dre got. But I'm going to count him up on the next break. Goodness gracious. Devontae Thomas gets the basket to go. He's fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line as Aaron Reed checks back into the ball game. And Van Hook goes to the bench. The foul is on Van Hook. That's his first team seventh. And the free throw up by Thomas is no good. And here come the stars. Jaquan Jones gives way to Aaron Reed. Into Muskowski, who checked into the game. Shot up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Has it knocked away Gotta by tough. Simpson. Got to be tough in there. To the basket, no good. Rebound. Kicked out of there. Tipped away to Lamont Bell. Out front, Aaron Reed. Step back, gives way inside. Shot up, good. Off the backboard for Hayden Lee. Nice to see him get in the scorer's book. Reed with the assist. Uh-uh, double dribble. He saw the laces of the ball, folks. <laughs> and we have another turnover as Dorian, rather, Jordan Bendris set to check back into the ball game as Davion Tracy goes to the bench. The Stars have picked up 52 points in the mm. first half. Jim Muskowski shot up, no good. Rebound. Bradford. Here come the Eagles. Rush had his back turned, managed to come up with it anyway. A lot of dribble out top. <laughs> Charles Simpson turns Here it over. Go. Here comes Aaron Reed. Here comes a dunk, and he got it. <laughs> you know he's going to throw it down. Yeah, I'm surprised big man didn't challenge that a little bit. Would you? And here comes Leo. He gets it to go. Hayden Lee wow. on the layup. Oh, wow. 56-23 with 3.47 left to go in the first half. We'll take a timeout and step aside, Abe. Eh? Maybe we can catch our breath. You're watching <laughs> Stars Basketball. We'll be back after this message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go down there and check. Tim Rush tries to bring it up the floor for the Stars. He's going to be fouled. Yeah, he's not a very secure ball handler. No. Uh, he didn't look comfortable at all no. bringing that ball up the court. The foul bailed him out. Jed Muskowski picks up the foul. <coughs> That's his first. Team's eighth. That'll send Tim Rush to the free throw line. Well, I'll tell you what, number 24. He is big. He looked like he can... Handle a mess of turnip greens. <laughs> Fried chicken and cornbread. I would not. <laughs> Mac and would, cheese. would not be strange in front of him. <laughs> He's from Jacksonville, Florida. He probably eats a lot of Craig's. Yeah, man. Buddy of mine I was down in Venice, Louisiana. That's, that's, about, that's about an hour past New Orleans. Redfish fishing. Not, not a bad meal I've ever had in New Orleans. Bam. As Bell gets his second three. That's six points for him. Ironically enough, we were talking about Dre Smith. He has 21 first half points. Wow. He's five for five from the free throw line with three rim rattling dunks. Eagles to the basket. No good. Rebound pulled out of there by Bradford. He goes up and gets it to go. That's the best move he's had all day. As you hear Coach Grimes shouting instructions to his team. Aaron Reed out top, pulls up at the free throw line, kicks it back out to Jaquan Jones. He takes a three, gets it to go. Nothing but net. That's his first three of the game. Yeah, they're feeling it today. 
62-27, and we're only in the first half. Stars on top. Yeah, this, uh, this invitational, uh, it's kind of special to coach. And uh, it's, it's fitting that these guys have an opening session like this. As you see, Jones knocking down the three, and we're going to have a foul call. It will go against Jones. That'll be his first team ninth. That will send Jordan Bendross to the free throw line. He has six points. He is two for two from the free throw line. Make that two for three. Miskowski had the rebound, and he can't control it. Well, I thought it, they lost it out of bounds, but they're going to say that Tim Rush was on his back, and that'll be a foul. That'll be his first. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I totally believe, you know, these, these referees are human, man. And when you got a team that's vibing like we're vibing, and then you got some of the things that's happening here, guys like, you know, no, you're not going to get that call, man. You, you just, you're not even hustling. So, you know, you start, you start playing, you know, I'll, I'll give you that call. But you. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to show me something, man. The foul is against Tim Rush. That is his third. Miskowski at the free throw line misses the first one. Does not get the bonus. Eagles with the rebound. They are really struggling here in the first half, 62-27, as they trail the Stars here at home. A horrible shot. <laughs> Bendros takes the deep three, no good, but Simpson comes out of there with the rebound. Look, 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 there he is. Here comes Lamont Bell to the basket, off the glass, no good. Rebound by Thomas. Big boy changed the trajectory the on that shot. Bradford did. Well, he faked three, gives it up, goes inside to Devontae Thomas. Thomas gets the basket. Five points now for Devontae Thomas. Miskowski, breaking to the inside. Nothing there. Was in the paint long enough to bake a cake. No call. Shot up by the Stars. No good. Rebound pulled out of there by Bradford. Eagles on the attack. Rush goes to the basket, no good, gets his own rebound and puts it back. He was in there for a minute. Oh, he was there long enough to fry some chicken. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Reed got away. Well, he trapped well. <laughs> he had a little gallop right there. I guess yeah, he got pushed he, before. He did travel. The official bailed him out. And the foul is going to go against white number 10. That's Jordan Bendras. That's his first, team eighth. Now, the fouls are starting to balance out in this game as we've had 17 fouls called, nine against the Stars, eight against the Eagles. Yeah. That'll send Aaron Reed to the free throw line as we have a substitution for the Stars as soon as I get the number. Reed's free throw is up, and it's good. Nothing but net. That is just his game. He's just a solid ball player all the way around. Yes, and he's been one of the most consistent players we've had this all year. All year long. Yeah, and that's what you look for, consistency. You want to be able to depend on your guys when they're out there that they're going to play uh, night in and night out. Reed's second free throw up, and it's good. And on the substitution for the Stars, well, it looks like Jacob Muskowski has checked in. Yeah, big boy was going. Look at it. Watch this. He's going. What are you going to do? Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop a train. And Muskowski is a good-sized boy himself. He is. He is. He and his brother both are well put together. Bradford to the line. That will send Kyrie Bradford to the line. This summer doing conditioning, man, they refuse to lose to each other. <laughs> and that's how you that's how you create winners. Yep. Now Lamont Bell is talking to our president in the stands. But I guess you can do that when you're up 64 32. Yeah, but he only got six points. I mean what <laughs> But he's over there talking to him. Oh, maybe he's trying to lobby on the GPA. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what he's doing. Well I think he has a pretty decent GPA. We're gonna have a travel call against might. Bradford. Yeah. And we'll have our president over at halftime for an interview, Dr. Anton Reese who had us all confused earlier this week. We thought he was retiring. And he says, no, I have another 11 years. <laughs> and what a president for this school he has been. Yes, he has. Been. 
Reed, three, no good. It was contested by Bradford as he almost that's came a, in, and he looks and turns and talks to us. That's a, that's a three. That's a, that's a, and they get three for that. <laughs> Bradford heard us and turned around and talked yeah, to us yeah. and threw his hands in the air. Yeah, Bradford like, can you talk to him? <laughs> you an alumni ref? Do you have any influence on these fellas? <laughs> no, I'm afraid I don't. That's five seconds right there. Bradford manages to come up with it high off the floor. It is deflected by Jaquan Jones as he is all in Benders' shorts and Lamont Bell comes away with the steal. Ahead to Jones and back to Reed. Lays it up. Got it. Oh, my goodness. These boys are balling. <laughs> They're balling. Daquan Jones with his Charles first assist of the night. Block. And we're going to have a foul called. Uh-oh. And we're going to have a block called. As the as you see, the blocking foul called against Reed. That is his second. That'll send Thomas to the free throw line. Free throw is no good, but we're going to have a foul called on the rebound. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, that was inadvertent. Inverting foul right Bradford's there. Bradford's forearm right there ran into Strayhorn's face. Strayhorn's face, yes. <laughs> Kyrie Bradford picks up his first. Do you have to wonder where he got his name? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Cordell Cooper checks into the game 6 3 4 from Chicago, Illinois. No doubt in my mind he was named after Kyrie Irving. Oh, but there's a lot of Kyrie's around here. A man. bunch of them. But yeah. he was he's only an NBA star. Yeah. And with yeah. how many NBA championships? I think three. Well, he's got what? Two with the uh He's got he had two with the Cavaliers. Well he had one. Well, no, he had two. Two. He's got two with LeBron. Strayhorn to the free throw line. And then he said, I want to do my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't quite got back to that level yet. <laughs> well he he he, he, in his mind, he could carry a team by himself, and it just wasn't happening. No. You know, unless you're Magic Johnson or or, or Michael Jordan or, or Julius LeBron. Irvin or something. LeBron, yes. Good job. Good job. Jacob Muskowski gets it to go. Six seconds left to go in the half. Wow. Look at 73-34. D3. No good as the half comes to an end. Simpson just couldn't get it to go. This is a halftime score, you all. We are not exaggerating. It is 73 to 34. Stars all over the Eagles as we come to halftime. We'll be interviewing our president, Dr. Anton Reese, for the halftime as we take a short break. We'll step aside and we'll be back with more of the halftime show along with our interview and our statistics from Mr. McLean as the stars are on top here this afternoon. Back after these messages. Ready Kentucky Scholarship offers 100% free tuition at West Kentucky Community and Technical College for courses that can prepare you for a great job in as little as 13 weeks. Get started at WorkReadyKentucky.com. After I retired, I needed a purpose. The main reason I came back to school was to be a role model for my son. West Kentucky, they literally guided me all the way.
Welcome back to the Halftime Show at Hall's Gymnasium, the home of the WKCTC Stars. With me for our halftime is Dr. Anton Reese, number one community college in Kentucky. Thank you, sir. I think that's a credit to the our team. president. The team. It's only as good as <laughs> the team is only as good as the leader. I, I might provide the uh, place and space and support, but it takes very talented people both inside the classroom with our faculty and staff and the support team outside to make it happen. So we're very, very pleased to, uh, you know, continue to get these series of rankings, in this case, statewide. Uh, last month, I was privileged to go to San Antonio as part of the top 10 uh, colleges in the country uh, in terms of best practices. And uh, we are awaiting uh, Aspen, which is the biggest prize overall. So hopefully we'll see if we'll be back in the top 10 nationally. So uh, both the state and national recognitions that we'll be doing here at WKCTC is a testament to what we try to do every day in terms of making students successful and having great uh, careers. Being an alumni here myself, I can only stick my chest out a little when we talk about things like this because it makes me proud. And it also makes me even more proud when you talk about yourself. You don't like to take any credit, but it's a, a credit also, like you said, to the faculty and the staff and even the students that follow along that believe in the program enough to come here. Yes, indeed. Absolutely correct. Uh, you know, uh, recently I was uh, sharing that uh, I feel very, very, very privileged to have had an opportunity to, quote, find my voice. So my task is to allow others to find their voices. And so if it's students, it's students finding their footing, their voice, in terms of their educational and career dreams. Uh, what happens so often is a combination of opportunity and somebody really believing that you've got the ability or the capacity to do certain things. And I think that uh, that's one of the things that we try to be very intentional here is that we never underestimate you, uh, regardless of walk of life, uh, point of origin, uh, demographics or otherwise. It's really about that commitment to, to educational success because it's a win-win. The more people we get educated and trained, ready to work, they become uh, vested as taxpayers and, and likely uh, uh, to get back into the community, right? So there's multiple benefits associated with the level of success that we do here. This school prepared me for a 37-year career in radio, television, broadcasting. I got my start right here. I learned a lot, and it just carried over to when I transferred to Murray State University and to when I got out into the broadcast world. I might be a little biased because I did get my start here, and I want to say this because we had great interaction with the president. I hear that a lot about you from the students. You go to the student center, they see you in the hallways of buildings, they talk to you, and they say that you're always receptive and willing to listen to the questions, comments, and concerns. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it, it, it's been a little while since I've been, quote, a student, but uh, I knew the importance uh, when I was recognized by particularly somebody in the administration. Certainly, look at the presence level, it really means a lot. But that's generally who, who I am and what I'm about, right? I mean, it's, it's really about uh, being uh, attentive, uh, understanding that the significance and responsibilities and influence that you may have comes with great responsibility. And so uh, it's important for me to remain committed, to be approachable uh, to students and faculty and staff. Um, and that, that creates just a great atmosphere for people to do what they do best. Yeah. What do you see for the future here at the school? Well, I, I think really two key things. So, so one, uh, you know, there's just a national uh, discussion around the value of education. Not all of it's positive. Some people believe that education is overpriced, uh, massive debt. We are very fortunate. Uh, you mentioned the first start starting here at West Kentucky. It's an, an important first start and for some last start, particularly if they're going directly into work, the cost of our tuition is about 50% less than, than our four-year peers and less than 80% of our students have debt. So we believe that is a solid foundation to start and wise to come through the community technical college and then uh, depending on your path really pursue so clearly continue to advocate and promote uh, th this is a great return on investment uh, is very important in terms of accessing education will be one I think too jobs 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 yes. I, I've, I've taken a little bit of heat uh, because I talked about the fact is is that you look back at the last four censuses the population in the western region 10 counties has not grown it's been very flat and in many cases declining uh, you can't decline your way out of, to, towards progress, so I think it is important that we get jobs, that brings people, people need to be educated and trained, 
and that's the role that the college will play in being part of economic development. Uh, so I see those as the two immediate uh, things uh, that West Kentucky Community Technical College will focus on. Thank you so much for visiting with us. If you recall, the very first game of the year. Yes. You are our halftime guest. Last game, but not second to last game. Yes, sir. You are our guest again. I'm very thankful. Uh, and it means a lot because I would also add the games that I've been present, I've not, we have not lost the game that I've seen. So I know we've had some injuries, we had some maybe some away losses, but I was very pleased to see that the team is getting a little bit healthier. And, uh, you know, Dre and Juwan and uh, they're on fire. So it's been crazy the first half has it. Is, right? <laughs> and, of course, March Madness is next week, so I always think uh, you know, it's the best, best time of year for, for sports. Yeah, March is always Madness, madness for me it because – my birth month is in March. It's <laughs> a great month. Mine's in February, so a month ahead. Yes, sir. I always look forward to my birthday on the 18th of March because I keep saying I'm not a wintertime guy. I hate yeah. winter. Yeah. Anthony, make it to March. Make it to your birthday. <laughs> You're round and third and headed for home, and that's the way I feel right now. One of the other things I'll say real quickly, too, to connect with March Madness and basketball, what makes it so powerful in addition to pretty much and any team can win on any given day. Mm -hmm. I love to hear the backstories of those athletes. Yes. And the resilience. And it reminds me so much of our kids because they're powerful stories, communities, homes that many of our basketball players come out of. And had it not been for the opportunity to play ball, uh, I'm not sure that they would have come to college and or stayed. Uh, so it's a very important uh, commitment to uh, being student athletes. Uh, as part of that formula for success. And I want to comment on something you said earlier. Sometimes people devalue education. I don't. Um, as I told Richard Abraham during the first half, I didn't want to go to college. And you know my parents. Yes. yes. They made me go. Yes. And that as was I wise. Said, pardon? That was wise. It was. Their end. Yes, sir. And as I said to him, outside of introducing me to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, best thing they ever did for me. Absolutely. Education is the second most transformational vehicle outside the spirituality. I, I agree. I agree. Yes, sir. Dr. Reed, yes, it's, Dr. Reese, it's always a pleasure to speak Thank with you. you. I look forward to working with you in the future for many years to come. And we just think that uh, you're a wonderful president, a wonderful person. The faculty and staff love you. So do the students, and so do we. I appreciate that very much. You know, and someday I'll get a chance to be an analyst or, or a commentator like you guys. I you, know, will. you and Richard do an excellent <laughs> job. Thank you. You're way too kind. But you're a little better than Richard, though. Let me just say that. <laughs> now he raises his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he said he heard you. <laughs> Dr. Reese, thank you so much. The pleasure is all mine, my friend. We'll be back with the first half statistics from Gary McLean, and we'll get the second half underway when we come back from this break. You are watching Stars Basketball from Hall's Gymnasium back after these messages. Welcome back to Hall's Gymnasium. As we did not see our cue, we were talking about school. <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to go to school. That's what Dr. Reese That's just right, said. That's right. You need and to go to school, get your uh, education and everything. So. And I, this is the third time I've said this. I didn't want to go. Ah, I did not want to no, I did not want to go. Really? But my uh, mom and dad had other things in mind. They had so other? <laughs> they, here, I, as I just told you, I still have my degree. And you still have your degree. <laughs> they, they didn't take that away from no, you. No, you can't. <laughs> the only way you can take that from me is to kill me. That's right. That's I right. earned it. That's right. That's right. We all need to get in there and earn, earn it. You know, yes. So. They don't give them away. No, you have, they don't. You, You've got to earn you it. You have that's to earn sure. it. In fact, I had to repeat a class, an American government class, and it was a lieutenant colonel that was my teacher. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and he said, Anthony, you can be a good student, but you have one problem. I said, what's that? He said, you're lazy. Oh. <laughs> he failed me. Really? He said, you're going to repeat this course, and you will do the work. Wow. That's crazy. I got to be. 
There you go. That's right. I say, well, if that's the way you're going to be about it, then I'm going to. That's gonna the way be, he I'm was gonna, about yeah. it. <laughs> Mr. McClay, take it away All for right, the stats, please. Let's see here. During this first half, uh, West Kentucky Community and Technical College just dominated the whole whole situation here. We had Avery Strayhorn. He had eight. Dre Smith, he had 27 points for the first half. Uh, Trey Wilson had two. Alex Van Hook had two. Uh, Quan Jones with five. Joey Craig wasn't able to play today. Uh, he is uh, helping the players stretch and everything like that, so that's a good thing. Uh, Jacob Mikowski had two points. Jim Mikowski got to play, didn't score that first half. Anthony Dodge had two. Lamont Bell had six. Hayden Lee had six, and Aaron Reed had 13 for a total of 73 points at first half, 11 team fouls, 22 two-pointers, 11 free throws, and six three-pointers. For Earl Clements, we've got uh, Shelton. He had two. Ben Dross had four. Brian had one. Thomas had six. Rush was their high man with 12. Gary had two. Bradford had seven for a score of 34 points here at the halftime. They had nine fouls. They had 14 two-pointers and six free throws and no uh, three-pointers at all. So, And it was all stars? All stars all, all the way, yeah. And uh, we'll see what happens during this next half. Just imagine if they double them up. That's what I'm thinking. I, I don't think I have enough places for that. So uh, it doesn't right, look be, like it does I'll it. be right along the top when well, it's all over. You it. might need one I of these sheets. Have, <laughs> I may have to have a, a staple and staple me a piece of paper a in paper here. paper clip so, or yeah, something. That's how I do something. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McClain, thank you so much. We look right. forward to talking to you from the post-game show. All right. As you'll have your post-game stats, and we'll see you then, my friend. Everybody ready to get this second half started? Good. Good job as usual. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. As we're just about to get the second half underway, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. And you're watching WKCTC Basketball from Hawes Gymnasium. Thank you. Welcome back. As we're just about to get the second half underway, he's Richard Abraham. I'm Anthony Ridgeway. As I saw you sitting in the stands laughing at Dr. Reese <laughs> during the uh, halftime interview. I was talking to uh, Coach Grimes over there, man. He said he brought his guys in a day early so they could just kind of relax. He said, heck, man, I guess I – look, Drake keeps going. He said, I guess yeah. I should have brought them in down this morning. Maybe they played better. <laughs> Dre Smith had 27 first half points. He now has 29 points in the game. The high man for the Eagles was Tim Rush Love with 12 that. points. Nice. And a steal by Dre Smith, and he turns it over. And we get it right back. And then the Eagles turn it over right back to us as Jaquan Gary loses it out of bounds. Both teams will start the second half like they did the first. Xavion Shelton, Tim Rush, Charles Simpson, Jaquan Jer Gary, and Kyrie Bradford for the Eagles. The Stars will have Jaquan Jones, Dre Smith, Avery Strayhorn, Aaron Reed, and Anthony Darge. Smith picked up right where he left off in the first half. And you were talking about you spoke with Coach Grimes at halftime. What a wonderful person. Yeah, he is, man. He's, he's all into these young guys. He coaches his heart out. We have a deflection, and it's thrown back <laughs> as Jaquan Jones comes up with it. This game, this this is starting out just like the first half. Pretty much, yeah, with turnovers. Yeah, a lot of deflections. We're getting our hands on a lot of leather. And scored the first basket. Yeah. Jones inside, no good. Going to be fouled on the play. It looks like the official was waiting to see if it was going to go in before he blew the foul. Yeah, Blew yeah. the whistle. Devontae the Thomas. The foul is on Devontae Thomas. That's his first team first of the half. Man, he shoved. <laughs> he shoved Jones like he was a little twig. He's well, he pretty much is compared to him. Yeah, he's a – Thomas is a big guy. Yeah, he is. And Jaquan Jones, well, 
He's only 5'10 and a little guy. Yeah, and I think 5'10 is stretching it. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think. This. And he gets both free throws to go. Another turnover to seal. Here comes Aaron Reed, and he gets the layup, but it doesn't go. I thought he was going to dunk it. Yeah, he's he'll, but that's a nice put up. He'll go to the line for two. As you see Aaron Reed coming right into your living room, there's the foul right there by Jordan Bendros. That's his second, team second. That'll send Aaron Reed to the free throw line. He is two for two today. You know, we have the shot clock lit up. We haven't needed it in this game. No. No, I'm over here trying to ear hustle and see what Coach uh, Grimes is telling, uh, <laughs> telling his guys. Now you sound like my 25-year-old daughter. <laughs> Daddy, you're ear hustling. Yeah, he's trying to tell Gary, son, you got you to gotta give me something better than this. And to be honest with you, he's right. Yeah. They are getting blown out. Eagles. Three-pointer. Davion Shelton gets it to go. Yeah, that's a nice one. He has five points in the contest. Strayhorn looking. Nothing there. Jaquan Jones back at the top of the key, going to drive to the paint. Kicks it back out to Trey Smith, and he drives to the lane. Shot up good. Oh, man, he is clicking. <laughs> oh, all cylinders today. He can't do any wrong. Was talking at halftime. Darge comes up with the, reflect, the reflection but loses it out of bounds. Avery Strayhorn in a bit of pain. As we'll see on the replay what happened. Someone's foot. As you see, Dre Smith to the basket. And we have a foul caught on the floor against the Stars. Whether well, they're going to say it was a turnover. Darge comes up with the loose ball. Here comes Jaquan Jones. Aaron Reed. A rare miss for him. Yeah. He's usually good at those mid-range jump shots. He's usually good at every jump shot. Yeah, he's got a nice, he's got a nice stroke. Eagles, no good. Bradford, rebound. No good. Knocked away by Darge. Shot up. Yeah, that on was on the a, put back, Devontae Thomas, and he gets the basket to go. I don't know if he meant to pass that ball. I think it's uh -huh. because Darge knocked it away. Dre Smith gives way to Darge. Ball fake. Nothing there. Dre Smith. Not there, but Devontae Thomas comes away with the rebound. Thought he was going to get those shooters roll there. Wow. <laughs> Gary tries to penetrate. Aaron Reed knocks it away, and here come the stars. Jaquan Jones pulls up from 13. Got nice. it to go. Four points. And on that turnover, just like that, Jordan Bendrus gets up off the bench for the Eagles. Shelton has it knocked away by Strayhorn, but it's going to remain with the Eagles as they'll have it on their own end of the floor. Boy, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta dig the ball out. Almost need a, someone are, that's vertically challenged to get that. Yeah, these are these are old school bleachers right here. <laughs> Strayhorn is six six. I don't know how he got down there to pick it up. Eagles inbounds the ball. Simpson looking, being guarded by Strayhorn. Penetrates, pulls up from twelve, no good. Uh, Rebound brought out of there by Thomas. That was an ugly shot. Deep three, Shelton, no good. Rebound. Strayhorn has it knocked away. <laughs> I almost came up with the loose ball. That was an ugly Devontae shot. Devontae Thomas was there defensively, got his hands on it, and it will remain with the Eagles. I'm sorry, will remain. Almost hit stars. It will remain with the Eagles. Air ball put up by Devontae Thomas. That's one of the few things he's done wrong oh! today. Are you kidding me? That's four. Dre Smith now with 31 points. And four dunks. Pardon me. 33 points and four dunks. <laughs> Shelton looking inside. Gives way to Simpson. 
Nice ball. Shelton, movement. deep three, no good. Rebound, Bradford. Looking inside, has it knocked away. Puts it up, gets it to go. I'm telling you, man, that, that guy right there, he's a trunk. He has wonderful hands. He does. Well, big man, you got to have them. I hadn't seen hands like that since Carl Malone. Oh, yeah. Anthony Darge. The mailman. So, Daddy, why they call him the mailman? Because he always delivers. He delivers. That's it. One of the best forwards of all time. Yep. Couldn't get that ring, though. No, he couldn't. Because Michael was in the lead. Michael and Scott. Oh! Oh, look, alley oop. First one we've seen that this year. First time. Shelton has it stripped away by Darge. Shot up. You don't have to wonder who it is. Two more. Dre Smith, 35 points now. On the attack come the Eagles. Shelton pulls up from three. Step back. Boom. Got, got it to go. Ooh, that looks like a little James Harden right there. Step back. That's his second three of the game. Strayhorn steps out of bounds again. That's the second time he's done that today. Hey, get those shoelaces with the eyes on them. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, he can't see the baseline, man. I'm telling you, that's what you do. Shelton yeah. goes to the bench for the Eagles as Codell yeah. Cooper checks help into your, the game. Help your feet out. <laughs> Six you three I'm, from Chicago. You think I'm kidding about that? I did that to my daughters, man. <laughs> I thought you were kidding me. No, I did that. <laughs> Lamont Bell checks into the game for the Stars. And it's going to be a turnover by the Eagles, and the Stars will have possession. I don't think Smith can get 40. <laughs> he has 35. I know. 14 minutes left to go in the game. As Jaquan Jones tries to get it to go, he's going to be fouled on the inside, and it's going to go against Jordan Bendros. That's his third. <sighs> Team third of the half. Game the score you see is correct. It is 91 to 44. Stars on top of the Eagles were not even halfway through the second half. Yeah, these are these are the type of games you wanted to be in, man. Stat night. Pad those numbers. That's it. Jaquan Jones gets his first free throw to go. And we have a substitution for the Eagles as Devontae Thomas goes to the bench. Looking at the coach over there, he'd much rather have these type of games. Well, he laid back joking with his boys. We've seen him in other, other situations this year. Timothy Rush checks back into the lineup. Deep three that time by Jordan Bendross. He has nine points. Ooh. I don't know what happened there defensively for the oh, Eagles, but it wasn't much of anything. As yeah, big boys nowhere to be found in the middle. Jaquan Jones just penetrated and laid it up. Inside, Kyrie gives way to Tim Rush, and he gets the two. Lamont Bell back the other way in the paint, gets it up and gets it to go. Now that's his first two-pointer of the game. Yeah. He has eight points. Simpson gives way to Bradford, gets it to go. Nice, nice little touch there by the big fella. From two below Mississippi. Which is right below, one below. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at you, Tucker. You're going to pull a Richard Pride on <laughs> I used to live in Mississippi. There were only two things I liked about it, the food and the climate. Yeah. Of course, since I'm not a wintertime guy. Yeah, we used, to, we used to make that trip. Oh! Three-pointer, no good. Nice block out. That ball bounced almost twice. Straight horn to oh. the basket, gets it to go, moves it to his left hand. Yeah, because Bradford was trying to block it. He moved it to the other side. Bradford Ooh. goes up, shot, no good, but he's going to be fouled. And it's going to go against Dre Smith. That'll be his third foul. 
Trey Horn, as you can see, up with the left hand. He switches and gets it to go. That'll bring Zakai Bryant off the bench. As Kyrie Bradford goes to the free throw line, he gets the first one to go. Byron checks in. The big man, Charles Simpson, gets a break as he goes to the bench. Bradford's second free throw. Yeah, I'm looking at his hand. He has no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Tim Rush, but he's fouled. Yeah, I'm looking at that kid's hand. He has, he has small hands, man. But he's big. He is, man. The foul is against Anthony Darge. That's his third team second. Simpson's breathing hard over there on the bench. He's playing with his heart out. He's really hustling. Tim Rush gets his first free throw to go. He has 12 points. Pardon me, 13 points. Misses the second. Rebound. Mm. And we have bodies on the floor Man. as Brian comes up with it. But we're going to have a that foul call. That was a, that was an elbow on the hardwood. <laughs> now, if that happened to me right now, just leave me there and <laughs> call somebody. Cause hey, y'all, Kareem, yeah, <laughs> as man. big as you are. I'm going to take it back in the day. Uh-oh. And we're going to have steps called against Brian. Where were you going? The foul was called against Alex Van Hook. That's his second, team third. 11.52 left to go in the game. Dre Smith finally did something wrong. That ball went halfway down and came back out. Yeah, his game today has been break, taking the ball to the basket. The Eagles are looking for anything. Three-pointer. No good. Dre Smith comes out of there with the rebound. Traveled and got away with it. Yes, he did. Lamont Bell being guarded by Bendros. Bell, deep three. No good. Whoa. Rebound, <laughs> Timothy Rush. Man, I swear, Trey Smith's head was on was rim level. <laughs> and we're going to have a whistle blown as it was a deflection. As you see it sail out of bounds there. Inside goes Brian, and he's going to be fouled as he goes to the basket. I don't, I don't think the referee liked Smith. Smith not tossing the ball back. That's Dre Smith's <laughs> fourth foul. <laughs> yeah, he, he, if he want to hit 40, he better stay in the game. Byron's first free throw is good. He is three for three in the game from the free throw line. The yeah, coach took to, uh, Trey out and put uh, Hayden Lee in. Hayden Lee back in the lineup. Brian's second free throw is good. He's four for four from the free throw line with four points. Bell. Lee Whoa. traveled. He did. He traveled. Well, they are consistently calling that on both sides today. Well, I'll be honest with you. In a game like this, if I'm officiating yeah. and the team is down the way they are, I have a tendency to, unless it's just blatant, right. let it go. Now, the team that's up like this, if they breathe too loudly, I'm blowing the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been a nice... Trey Wilson tried to make something happen after a bad shot, and uh, he got called for the foul. Eagles looking for anything. Oh. 
Dorian Cloud checks back into the lineup for the Eagles. His shot up is no good. Rebound brought down by Rush. Put it back up, couldn't get it to go. Put it back up, couldn't get it to go. Yeah. Got it this time and got it to go. Yeah, Coach is uh, Coach Barnes, he rubs his head, but he appreciates that type of effort. Yes, you have to. Yeah, and Coach, uh, <laughs> Coach Chumler is looking at his guys like he's down five. <laughs> he's up 99 57 we'll keep it right here is this going to be a short break now I'm surprised that Simpson has been on the bench as long as he has he's really consistent on the inside for the Eagles well I don't know coaches uh, I don't know if he's trying to teach him a lesson or it's too late in the year to be trying to teach lessons it's time to play well, you need to start teaching lessons in October. Yeah, well, they they came, they showed up. They, they're just not playing. Because the the first game we did here with the with the job course guys, they played really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we beat them, but they played really well. They were solid, yes. Yeah, and uh, big fella Bradford. Of course, they haven't made a made it a uh, a big deal of going into him, mm -hmm. but. Uh, there's another, another turnover. Another turnover. They called it a carry, but it's what a? <laughs> a double a dribble. A double dribble. And that'll give the Eagles the ball. Heads up. Keep your head on the swivel, partner. As slick as my head is, I cannot afford to have that ball go off my head. <laughs> Byron. Gives way to Rush. Has it knocked away. Here comes Lamont Bell. Lays it up. Rolls off no good. Strayhorn gets the rebound and puts it back. Triple, triple digits. 101 to 57. Yes, you are seeing the scoreboard correctly. 927 left to go in the ball game. Stars on top of the Eagles. Nice pass. Inside pass goes to Brian, and he gets the basket. That pass came from Bradford up top. Brian with six points in the game. Long shot up by Hayden Lee. Rebound brought out of there by Dorian Cloud. And here come the Eagles. Cross court to Cloud. Penetrates, pulls up, gets it to go. It's a nice little runner. That little floater. If you're good at it, you can score a lot of oh, points. Oh, you can, man. The key thing is to avoid the charge. Right. And Van Hook has checked into the lineup for the Eagles, rather for the Stars. Hayden Lee comes out of there with the rebound, has it knocked away, sails out of bounds, and it will remain with WKCT. We can't get, they cannot get a break. I'm still surprised that Charles Simpson is still on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know if he's not feeling well. I don't know or, or what. He's been pretty solid on the inside. Yeah. He yeah. heard us and he actually looked over and laughed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, <laughs> he's he, still laughing. Yeah, big boy. <laughs> Here we go, going the other way. Turnover. Strayhorn comes up with it, loses it out of bounds. Cloud comes up with it, gives Money. way to da Davion Tracy, and he gets it to go. That's his first three of the game. I guess there Coach heard us, too, because here comes Simpson. Yeah, he's happy, looking over his shoulder, <laughs> he, grinning. Let's see what he do when he get in there, though. Even the players are looking over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice little run. Oh. Wilson turns it over. <laughs> and looking inside, throws it away off the hands of Dorian Cloud. And here comes Charles Simpson back in the lineup. 6'2 forward from Jacksonville, Florida. They yeah. need that inside presence. Yeah, well, he's got he's got a little work to do because we're up. But he takes up that space on the yeah, inside. Let, yeah, let's see if he can get something going. We done hyped him up for the folks. He's actually <laughs> had a pretty solid game. <laughs> oh, this boy. Lamont Bell yeah, for Lamont, three. Lamont hurting him. That's his third three of the game. He has ten points. He's trying, to, he's trying to keep Bradford out of the paint. Good luck with that. Jump hook by Bradford. No good. Rebound Strayhorn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, nice. Avery oh, Trayvon gets it. Oh, and he fouled. Oh, big boy went down hard. Uh, Bradford. Bradford went down hard. He's on the floor. Yeah, man, I tell you what. Right there, mm. he lost his footing. I think he, I think Looked he, like he hit his head. Yeah, I think he inadvertently bumped Straight uh, uh -huh. Simpson as he was coming down. As you see, Coach Chumbler and assistant coaches for the Stars on the floor to help him up off the floor. Excellent sportsmanship, even by the coaching staff. Yep. Got to have it. Now, that's something we haven't seen all year. Tim Rush comes into the ball game without a to score. <laughs> Bradford gets up yep. as he heads to the pit. He's grabbing his lack on the left side. Yeah, on that replay it showed. His leg caught number 24 uh, since the backside, and that that's what flipped him. Ray Horn at the line. Coach Grimes is seeing after his star player. The foul is against Bradford. That's his second. Team fourth. Strayhorn goes to the free throw line, and he gets it to go. High pass thrown. Cloud comes up with it. Simpson working against nice Lee. Pass. Inside pass. Nice to ball Rush. Movement that time. It was excellent ball movement. That's why Timothy Rush gets the basket. Initiated by Charles Simpson. Rush has 16 points. Deep three. Mm. Stars, no good. Rebound, Tim Rush. Eagles looking for anything. 110 to 66 is our score with 620 left to go in the game. It has been all stars all afternoon. All afternoon. And there's a steal by Lamont Bell, and he steps out of bounds. He's trying to Coach Grimes instructing his team. Hey, he's telling the guys, guys, every, this is what we do in practice every day. We practice this thing every day right here. That's what he just said. We do this every day. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the good thing about us being in the position where we are, the viewers don't have to just listen to what we're saying. No, they can pick up what coaches are saying. You can saying. hear what the coaches are saying yeah. on both ends of the floor. Yeah, that's Simpson gives away good pass on the inside. Tracy pulls up from three. Got it. Yeah, that's what I like about the XFL, man. They got these. They got the coaches, Mike. They got the quarterback, Mike. They you actually every, watch that? Oh, do, oh, it's so entertaining. I'm telling <laughs> you, man. I tried. I can't do it. You got a, you got a defensive, uh, offensive guard get beat by a defensive lineman. They go over there and ask the offensive guard, what happened on that play? <laughs> oh, man. It's, well, I got beat. How yeah, about that? <laughs> yeah. You never know what you're going to get. No, you don't. Bradford's over here on the floor beside us trying to stretch it out as he hit that floor earlier. We have a foul call. As you hear Coach Grimes saying, yeah, you had a good idea, but he was wide open on the floor. All you had to do was give it to him. Yeah, yeah, you got to have eyes out there, man. Strayhorn, second foul, team second. What did you hurt? You back? As we were talking to Kyrie Bradford, he says he's okay. He says he hurt his back. Yeah, he came down pretty hard, He did. Man. And like I said, he, it's, uh, it's, and he's grabbing his left wrist also. Yeah, he, he put the wrist, he put his hand down to break his fall. I did that last Father's Day and broke two ribs. Oh man! And, and hurt my shoulder that has to have surgery. All because I tripped. Money. Deep three. By Van Hook, no good. Trey Wilson back into the lineup, along with Jed Miskowski. Both twins have played in the game today. Yeah. Some good time. We have them for another year. 
actually, we're going to have a pretty solid team next year. We're pretty young this year. Yeah, Lamont Bell. Lamont Bell comes up with the steal, goes to the basket, lays it up. It's good. <laughs> One twelve to sixty nine, and the stars have just dominated this game. Yeah, they have. <laughs> Dorian Cloud, bless you. I wasn't saying that to Cloud. Abe actually sneezed. <laughs> As we told you when uh, we began the we're broadcast, battling, man. battling it. We have both been battling this all week long. I was wondering if I was going to have a voice today for the game. Well, I didn't manage to nurse it back together. It's not 100%, but I can't talk. Yeah, well, your, your, your 80% is, 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 is most folks 100%, man. Well, you're, you're way too kind. Thank you very much. I am a kind gentleman. You are that. I have to give you that. <laughs> right. We've only known each other all our lives. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. Jordan Bendrus set to check back into the lineup as... Jaquan Gary comes into the lineup, and that'll send Timothy Rush to the bench. The foul was against the Stars. Trey Wilson, that's his second team eighth. And that sends Devion Tracy to the free throw line. His first one's good, and he'll get a second one. Avery Strayhorn goes to the bench as Jacob Muskowski checks into the lineup. Charles Simpson goes back to the bench as Devontae Thompson checks in for the Eagles. And to be honest with you, Simpson's day is probably finished. The second free throw is up, no good. Rebound pulled out of there by the Eagles. The put back is no good, and here come the Stars. Inside, nice. Muskowski gets it to go. Nice. For his first bucket of the game. So he and his brother scored today. You know, people are probably wondering where our commercial breaks are today. We haven't had many because we've not had many stoppages in play right. with timeouts being called. <laughs> and there's another turnover that causes it's knocked out of bounds. Tracy loses it as he goes to the bench, and that'll bring Dorian Clout, rather Jordan Bendros, back into the ball game. 3.20 left to go in the contest. We started talking about this earlier, about uh, – the Stars being aggressive and taking the ball to the hole, and that's exactly what they did early. And we talked about the, the outside shot to will present themselves. But you need to establish that aggressiveness going to the hole early. Cloud to the basket. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled out of there by Wilson. Ahead to Bell. No good as he lays it up. Van Hook gets the rebound. Looking inside, Muskowski has it Ooh. blocked, sails out of bounds. They're going to call a jump ball, and the possession arrow will go towards the Stars. As you see, Bell with that three gets it to go. He's feeling it. He's got a nice follow through, too. Shot up inside Van Hook. by Van Hook. His second basket of the game. He has four points. Deflection. Come up with by Van Hook on the steal. Has it knocked out of bounds by Dorian Cloud. And it looks like Earl C. Clemens is going to fall into the loser's bracket of this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> the referee got a little help over there. Look. From the little man. <laughs> <laughs> and he lets him inbounds the ball to the, uh, to the it. player. Yeah. That kid has all smiles. And look at his parents. They're just smiling from here to here. He'll talk about that all night. Oh, he'll remember that for the rest of his life. Deep three, no good by Trey Wilson. Rebound by Dorian Cloud. Two minutes left to go in the contest. 119 to 70 is our score. Uh, Stars on top of the Eagles. Eric pass sells out of bounds by Zakai Bryan. Yeah, that that'll be another turnover. Yeah, I'm sorry, that, that pass was late. If it had been on time, he'd have been wide open right there in the paint. Under two minutes to go now. Eagles looking to move. Excellent defense that time by Brian. 
as he knocks it out of bounds. The Stars will. It's just amazing to me how these young men are hitting this with hardwood and getting straight up. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh. You mean Bernie Miller didn't teach you that? Oh, oh, when I was 17, <laughs> I could do it. Oh, I knew you could. I was just messing with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be 60 March 8th. Bam. Bam. Big that. three that time by Van Hook. Yeah, there you first go. three of the game. Man, you're getting old. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not that far behind. I know I'm far that. enough. I know that. <laughs> that look you gave me was priceless. Yeah. <laughs> As if to say, yeah, you're the one to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. But you are older than me. You always have been. Yeah, I always will be. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> There's only one way to keep from getting old. Oh. As my great uncle said, die young. That's it. Shot knocked away. Here comes Clemens with the ball. Two shots up, no good. Rebound pulled out of there and put back by Dorian Cloud. That's his fourth point of the game. That's his second basket. Uh, sloppy turnover right there. Here come the Eagles. Got away with the travel. But again, I wouldn't have called it either. Rebound, no good. Put back up by Thomas, no good. And here come the Stars. Wilson penetrates, gets it up, gets it to go. 124-72. With 25 seconds left to go in the game. Shot up, good turnaround jump nice shot look. that time by Bendros. He's got a nice he's got a nice shot. He does. Perfect form. And it looks like Van Hook is just gonna be content to let the clock run out. Yeah, it's pretty much uh Oh, it's over. It was over in the first half, Goodness anyway. gracious. One twenty four seventy. And that'll do it for the first game of this tournament. There are five slated for today. WKCTC wins it 124 to 74. We'll be back to wrap it up with the post game show when we come back from these messages. You are watching Stars Basketball, and we are at Hall's Gymnasium on the campus of WKCTC. Back after this. Retired, I needed a purpose. The main reason I came back to school was to be a role model for my son. West Kentucky, they literally guided me all the way. The Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship offers 100% free tuition at West Kentucky Community and Technical College for courses that can prepare you for a great job in as little as 13 weeks. Get started at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Welcome back to Hall's Gymnasium as the Stars win it here big this afternoon. Welcome to the postgame show. I'm with head coach Mike Chumler. Coach, you could do no wrong today. Well, you know, it, it's nothing like 
uh, you know, playing your best game at the right time, right? You know, that's what it's all about. You try to try to get better for when it, you know, the end of the year. And um, when we first got here this morning, I thought some of our guys, boy, I, I didn't like our energy. Some of my guys, I know they spent 45 minutes stretching. But when, when we got in warm-ups and they picked up their energy, and yeah, you couldn't, they came out I mean, from the very beginning, and they executed well. And I told them at halftime, I said, when all I had to complain about is two missed blockouts on two free throws, we played a good half. Pretty good half, yes. And I told them, I said, you know, that's probably the best half we played all season, and we need three more like that one. And uh, I, we played a pretty good half the second half. Um, I, I'm really pleased, you know, from top to bottom, I thought we played well. What about the play of Dre Smith? Oh, man. Hey, Dre, Dre came like he wanted to go out right. You know, I mean, his energy. And there were times, you know, not just the dunks, and but his defense. He was flying all over the floor. And even when he didn't get the ball, he, he was, you know, creating havoc. And, uh, you know, I, I could have five or six guys over there ready to come in here right now. But, I mean, Lamont, Lamont stepped up. You know, those sophomores, they, they act like they want to go out right. And, and, you know, they know it's a big day to me. They've been with me to two, for two years. They know how much this day means to me, and, and I, I couldn't be more proud of them. You know, you talked about the guys that are leaving, and Abe and I talked on the air during the game. We're still pretty solid for next year. Oh, we're real solid next year. We're real solid next year, and we got a couple of good guys coming in. Uh, Cade Butler from uh, Callaway, he's coming in. Uh, just got that. Well, actually yesterday. A um, couple of guys from Charleston we're looking at hard, and they're going to be really good. Uh, you add what we to what we have, we're going to be pretty solid. And then you, there's a lot to be said for freshmen, freshmen just becoming sophomores. Yes. You know, having a year under your belt. Because the speed of the game is so much different. Size of the players, you know. you got kids that have been used to getting away with being athletic. Well, then you get up here and everybody's just as athletic yes. and bigger than them. And, and I think we're just now putting all that together. You mentioned about the freshmen becoming sophomores. I remember hearing Coach Rick Patino when he was at UK. He referenced the same thing. He said the good thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And, you know, and, and you can see that with our sophomores. You know, our, our sophomores, Jerry was the only sophomore we started. But you couldn't ask for a better teammate and somebody ready to go than Lamont and Alex. I mean, my goodness, their attitude. And that, that's paramount to a team. You know, I mean, they could be poisoned, but instead they're making the most of their opportunity when they come in there. And that, that that's huge for us. It is. I think it was evident by the play that, that was um, exhumed on the floor today. I mean, yeah. Everybody was just – the whole team coach was clicking on all cylinders. I think so. You know, the defense really, really looked good today. I'm, I'm very proud of these guys. Well, you have the championship game tonight, and yeah. we'll be in that. It starts at 7 o'clock. Yeah, we're going to go over eat a little food. You know, it's a special day. We got uh, recipients of Cam's organs here. I had a guy uh, I was in the Marine Corps with I haven't seen in 29 years. Wow. Drove here from Reading, Pennsylvania. Drove 14 hours. Are he's you here. serious? Yeah, he's here with me today. I'll introduce you to him here a little bit. Okay. And, hey, that means the world to me. Man. It's, it's more than about basketball. It's about everyone coming together. It's strange that you mentioned that because our president, Coach Anton Reese, referenced the same thing on the air during his halftime interview. It's not just about basketball and sports. It's about life. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I was talking to Devin Hart online the other day, and I told him, you know, Wins are great, losses suck, but the relationships and the extended family you build along the way, that's what counts and that's what lasts forever. And those kids will remember that. They'll always come back. That's right. Even their parents will that's come right. back. You know, Al McFarland was texting me before the game. He'll be here tonight at the championship. You know, I love you, Coach. And that's not, those aren't hollow words. You know, we, we mean that. I think that's a good thing. It's all about team building, uh, lifelong relationships. I have some myself, and uh, it just comes from a – I learned a lot in sports. I learned a lot about life in sports. That's exactly right. Mainly I, I learned how to win, how to lose, how to be a good person. That's exactly yes. right. It teaches you a lot. Yes. I, I believe it 100%. Well, Coach, thank you so much for visiting with us in your postgame show. We look forward to your pregame show uh, before the, uh, the start of the championship game tonight. Congratulations on a good win. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Our head coach, Mike Chumler, for the WKCTC Stars. We'll be back with more of the postgame show when we come back from this brief message. You are watching Hall's Basketball back after this. I'm a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I got out and I still didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. And then I started looking at the, the machinist program uh, here at West Kentucky. One of the things that I found that was at West Kentucky that wasn't at the other universities, they want to see you succeed. 
and go on to be successful in your career. Coming back to college when you're 34, it's outside your comfort zone. But I was able to get in here and get comfortable and, and meet guys that are going through some of the same things that I'm going through. Welcome back to the post-game show on the campus of WKCTC at Hawes Gymnasium. One of the post-game players of the game with me right now is Lamont Bell. Lamont, you had a stellar game. You had 16 points. You had two steals, two deflections. You did have one turnover. That's the only thing you did wrong. Good ball game today. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What do you attribute your play to this afternoon? To my grandma and my uncle. That the cease. Uh, my grandma just passed last month. Oh, I'm sorry. And my uncle died on uh, Thanksgiving. I'm so sorry. Thanksgiving night. So all of this is to them now. Well, it looks like you represented well today, and I'm sure they're proud of you. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I sure are. So you and I were talking off the air. Um, this is your sophomore year. Right. And we won't have you back anymore. That's it, – it's kind of bittersweet. You know, right. we're glad that you're moving on, but we, we are not happy that – you won't be here anymore. But, you know, time waits for no one. Right. What's your future hope? Well, I'm trying to um, get to Jackson State University to for band and basketball, if I can get both of them. And right now I just Yeah, you got, play drums. Right. Okay. And um, I just got accepted to uh, Austin P. So the Governors. Yeah. And I might have a – I got a band audition there um, in March. Then I got a little connection on the inside – and I may have a workout for them for basketball, too, some sometime after their season over with. Yeah. That's what the future holds for you. Yes, sir. And we, we know you'll be successful at whatever it is that you do because uh, you're just that kind of person. Yes, sir. Um, you all today were just completely off the hook, for lack of a better term. <laughs> yeah. You know, we had to come out for Coach, man. This is a big day for Coach, you know what I'm saying? And we, we came out dead. And Coach, you know, got upset a little bit, took us in the locker room. We came out, got the energy, and just kept it all the way to the end of the game. What do you think about tonight? You have the championship game coming up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If you all play tonight like you did today. Oh, we winning it easy. Easy. There wouldn't even be any need for the other team to show up. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, we thank you for visiting with us. You had a no stellar problem. ball game today with 16 points, and uh, you had a wonderful game. We look Appreciate forward to you uh, carrying that over to the game tonight. Yes, sir. Sophomore Lamont Bell from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Carruthersville. Uh, Carruthersville, Missouri. I'm sorry, <laughs> and I'm looking at it right here. And uh, uh, we look forward to seeing you tonight. Yes, sir. Congratulations on Appreciate a great it. game. Next, we have um, Avery Strayhorn, who will make his way to the broadcast table. And um, we'll talk to him a little bit about his play today. Strayhorn had 14 points. He was also four for four from the free throw line, which attributed to that. Your play today on the inside was uh, solid, Avery. Mm -hmm. Solid. What do you attribute that to today? Um, I just really went out there and tried to be big. That's what Coach told me to do. Go out there and be big. That's what I try to do. Finish my knock down my lips and. Fo really, I try to focus on my free throws because usually I don't really hit those a lot. We but know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I hit I hit those. I knocked those down today. So that was a plus, yeah. And we noticed you came up limping down here um, on one series. What happened? Um, dude just stepped on my stepped on my toe. We really. thought that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Hey. Either someone stepped on your foot or you stepped on someone's yeah. foot. Yeah. In the championship game tonight, um, what can we expect to see from Avery Strayhorn? Oh, you know, I'm going to work hard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my thing. Trying not to talk to nobody. That's really? what really <laughs> <laughs> uh, coach me getting on me about that. But yeah, um get down there and do some dirty work. And do what Avery Strayhorn does. Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. we don't have to talk to you about leaving because you're just a freshman. We mm -hmm. still have you for another year. Yes, sir. And yep. uh, we look forward to that as well. But we still have unfinished business here tonight at seven o'clock. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm already knowing. We're we gonna get it done. I believe you. Mm -hmm. I believe you. We look mm -hmm. forward to seeing you tonight, and thanks for visiting with us here this afternoon. Yes, sir. Avery Strayhorn, freshman forward.
from right here in Paducah. Uh, went to high school at Paducah Tillman, and he will be here this evening trying to continue his play as he'll pick up where he left off in this ball game as Dre Smith makes his way to the table, our third player of the game. And you were crazy out there today. You had 35 points. More importantly, you had four rim rattling dunks in the first half. You did talk trash to us all year long about the dunks. You came through today, my friend. <laughs> yeah, um, it wasn't, I was just trying to have fun, and I know this is important to coach, so I was just trying to make everybody proud and have fun out there for real. Where did you get the energy from today? It, it was like that with you from the start to the finish until you picked up that fourth foul. But you brought something to the table tonight that we've seen some solid games from you all year, but nothing like what we saw today. Uh, I just took it upon myself to be a leader today and, um, and like just make everybody better today. You had deflections. You had steals. You were all over the place. A few times we saw you on the floor diving for loose balls. What brought all of that out today? It's just a mind game, for real. Just, just keep my head, at, head in the game and just hoping for the best. What can we expect tonight? You know, we're in the championship game. Um, what can we expect from Dre Smith? Another performance like I just did. We thought you were actually going to go for 40. <laughs> yeah, I was going to try, but they didn't put back in. <laughs> You picked up those fouls. A couple of them were cheap. Yeah. Why? Like this, this last foul, I, I really blocked it, but I didn't complain too much. Man, we was up 40, so I just let it, let it go. We look forward to seeing you for tonight's championship game. Hopefully it will be a carryover from the game today, and uh, who knows, maybe you'll get a chance to throw up 40. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting with us. Dre Smith. High point man for not only the team today, but for the game as he had 35 points. And uh, we look forward to seeing you tonight. Be a carryover. Let's win this championship. Bring that trophy right back here to this school at this gymnasium. Yes, sir. I got you. Thank you, Dre. Thanks for visiting with us. We'll take a short break, and we'll be back with the final stats from Mr. Gary McClain as we wrap up this first game here this afternoon. We'll step aside for a minute, and... As we see Mr. McLean making his way to the broadcast table, we'll bring you to him when we come back. Welcome back to the post-game show at Haas Gymnasium. With me is Mr. Gary McLean with the uh, post-game stats. Take it away, sir. All right. Let's see here. For Earl Clements, uh, they ended up with 74 points for the game. They had uh, Xavion Shelton had eight points. Uh, Davion Tracy had seven points. Jordan Bendross had nine. Dorian Cloud had four. Uh, Cordell Cooper did not score. Zachai... Brian, Brian, I'm sorry, was five points. Devontae Thomas was eight. Tim Rush had a high for the team of 19 points. Charles Simpson did not score. Jaquan Gary had two points. And Kyrie Bradford, he had 12 points. They ended up with 24 twos, 11 free throws, and five three-pointers all Man. in that last half. There. My goodness. They popping them threes there at the last there. Now for uh, West Kentucky Tech, we have Avery Strayhorn. He ended up with 15 for the game. 
Dre Smith, he had 35 for the game today. Uh, Trey Wilson had four. Alex Van Hook had seven. Quan Jones had 13. Jacob Mikowski had uh, two. His brother Jed had two. Uh, Anthony Darch had four. Lamont Bell had 19. Hayden Lee had 12. Aaron Reed had 17. We had 38 twos, 18 free, free, well, let me start again, free throws. And uh, we had uh, 10 three-pointers for a total of 124 to 74. Wow. Yeah, we only had 19 fouls called against West Kentucky and 13 fouls called against Earl Clements. So pretty so balanced foul, calls on the fouls. Fouls were pretty balanced, mm-hmm. and uh, it, was, it was low, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So, but, yeah, we, we, we put one – in the wind call we today. We took them to the woodshed. We you sure did. <laughs> we took them yeah, we, to the woodshed. Yeah, we did a little spanking today. So, <laughs> now the, the next two teams that are coming up, let me tell you, I'm, I'm not, I, I've not seen either one of these teams play. That's because we haven't seen them play. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the only uh, thing we know about them is what I can dig up. <laughs> and with these teams, a lot of times, with it being small college basketball, you really, really have mm-hmm. to dig to find out any information oh, yeah. if you yeah. find out anything, anything at all. Yeah, I did talk with one of the coaches, and one team is from Branson, mm-hmm. and I'm not sure where the other team was. I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure. And so, but, but yeah, we got a uh, faith prep and link uh, prep. It's coming in here to play, mm-hmm. play ball next with us and uh, see what the outcome will be. There were actually five games slated for today. We have one down, four to go, and we are in the championship game tonight at seven. That is correct. We look forward to seeing you then, and uh, you do a wonderful job as usual. You keep us straight, and we thank you for that because um, you what we call our fact check guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we, we, we'll we do the best we can do. How about that? That's all we can do. That's all we can do. <laughs> Mr. Gary McLean on the stats with the postgame show. We thank you so much, and we'll see you the next ball game. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you, sir. We'll be back to wrap it up as Richard Abraham and I will finish up this first game and – We'll do that when we come back from this break. You're watching WKCTC Basketball. Welcome back to the post-game show. Abe, there's not a whole lot we can say about this first game. Uh, no. It was all stars from morning to afternoon. It was. It was. And uh, while they were warming up, uh, I talked to Dre Smith and the guys and said, look, man, with this team, just take them to the hole, establish that aggressiveness early. Those jumpers will come later. And that's exactly, man, they went out and Trey, had, he just balled out. Uh, got out front and never had to look over his shoulder. He had 35 points. 35, that's definitely a high for him uh, this year. So, good win for him. Great time to have it. You got this tournament going on, and so they'll be in the championship game. Mm -hmm. Don't know who to beat tonight as we still have four games left to play, and we have the second game uh, coming up with these two teams on the floor, and we have a third one. Looks like they're coming in now. So, as the teams are starting to foul into the uh, gymnasium, um, it's going to be a full afternoon of basketball. You know, there's not much that uh, the Stars did wrong here this, this afternoon, and it'll be interesting to see if they can build on that for tonight. Yeah, um, Coach will get in there and talk about some of the things that he'd like to see. Got a little sloppy there at the end, but, heck, man, when you're up over 20. You can expect that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so far, so good. Look forward to the game tonight. I do as well. Um, WKC. TC wins it this afternoon over Earl C. Clemens, 124 to 74. The Stars go to 9 and 14 overall. Earl C. Clemens goes to 7 and 3 overall. That's going to wrap it up for us here this afternoon. Our floor director, Mr. Dan Shepard. Our director, Mr. Cam Whitey, Witty, and he's Richard Abraham. 
I'm Anthony Ridgeway. You know, it's strange. I haven't gotten his name pronounced correctly all year long. It looks like I would know that by now. But that's going to do it for us here at Stars Gymnasium, rather Hall's Gymnasium. Stars win it 124-74. We'll see you back here at 7 o'clock tonight for the championship game. Enjoy your afternoon. Thanks for being with us, everybody.